Hello friends, welcome again. Well, uh, we have seen uh, how to access uh, the AWS instance from my local machine. Now, uh, I have stopped it, okay? Le let me restart that first. The start, yes, okay. Well, my instance is running now. So now what I have to do is I have to go and install the Kafka broker uh, binaries to this machine. Okay, let's see how to do that. Before going forward and installing uh, Kafka, what I'll need is I'll, uh, I'll need Java to be installed on that machine. So first thing is let's go and install Java on that machine. How to do that, let's see. So if you're restarting your VM, remember that every time you are restarting your VM, the IP address, the public IP address is going to change. So here now, I, if I, I have restarted it, uh, you see that my public is, IP is now 52, 40, 96, 22. Copy that and uh, just uh, update your, uh, you know, party. Uh, you see that my demo instance load it. And here you see that IP address, it has been changed. So save it. And I am going to save that as my, maybe my demo uh, Kafka broker. Okay, so now I'm going to see, so uh, save it as my ka demo Kafka broker. Okay, so okay. okay, save it. All others I, you can check if it is same or not and uh, data easy to use it and I have saved it, so uh, go forward and open it. You see that now we logged in. So that, first thing first, uh, let's do one thing, let's update uh, the packages. Uh, this is nothing but very slim um, instance. Uh, it does not have any uh, any update or any uh, latest uh, packages. So what first thing we'll do is, we'll update the packages go and type sudo yum update it this will try to update uh, the packages whatever it is required okay it may take some time press y or you can type directly while uh, creating uh, sudo yum update minus y so that you don't have to press y again and again Once this is updated, then we can download actually the uh, Java packages. And uh, we, in fact, we can uh, download from the command prompt using wget command. So still it's updating. It may take some time. Depends upon the how old the packages are. If there are a lot of uh, packages to be updated, definitely it is going to take some time. <clears throat> now, uh, I have already uh, done some of the work here. Uh, to install Java, what we'll need is, we'll need the RPM directly. Uh, this is just, I'll, I'll make sure this command is available. Uh, just copy it, copy this whole command. Control C, copied. After that, actually, I can use it. So what we'll do is uh, this: it will duplicate, it will download this particular RPM. Okay, and uh, if you, uh, this is the way if you want to download any Java RPM, and uh, this is the non-check certificate uh, uh, you have to give it, so that you accept the cookies and. You accept the license, okay? This that's why this is the whole command, RPM command, okay? And still it is uh, going on. 
And uh, next, once we inst uh, download the RPM, uh, this is how we can actually install the RPM package. sudo yum local install and the RPM because you have downloaded. Okay, okay. After this installation of the RPM, what we can do is we have to set again uh, the Java home and we can set it the Java home in the dot bar bus RC file. That's we can do. Still it is doing. So once we, uh, what we have done from we, in the first video, we have seen how to install the Java in uh, Windows and we have set it, uh, set the Java home uh, environment variable. Same, the same thing we have to do with Linux. So that, that I'll, I'll show you how to do that. Then we have to download the Kafka binaries, the Kafka package, okay? And uh, that also I'm going to show. Okay, it's done. Now, we have copied that. Now, uh, let's see whether wget is installed or not. Um, uh, it is wget not found. It's the command we are going to use. So go forward and install it for sudo em install wget. So again, why? It is now installed. Now, go forward and this is the command wget no cookies header is this one and this is the rpm go forward and uh, possibly there's something is it uh, rightly copied uh, let me copy that first way notepad so that I see that uh, it is done correctly. Okay, yeah. Double quote has to be given, that's all, okay. Now copy this and paste it. And now it is downloading the uh, RPM file, Java RPM. JDK uh, the 60 JDK 60 actually you can download the latest one as well uh, here if you go to uh, the Java JDK Oracle JDK download you go to Oracle JDK download, you can find it here. And uh, you see this is the accepting the license and the latest is uh, the 91, 8U91. You can download this one as well by just replacing. Uh, this is the RPM. So what we can do is I just uh, can uh, copy this, right click and copy link address and I can do that here. If I replace it with this one, then I think I'll be able to, I, I, I can still download the latest one, okay? Let's do that if I can. Let's do that uh, so that uh, I'll have both. Let's see. I'll Yes, now uh, the 91, uh, 8U91, 8 update 91. Uh, JDK 8 update 91 is getting downloaded and I can possibly use that I am going to use that in fact so here you see I have two RPMs of one is uh, the exe file did I download the exe file oh I'm sorry I, I just uh, download the Windows one so here uh, I have to download uh, the x64 one, okay? So they again copy link and you see, uh, at least we are learning how to download from the command prompt. Go forward and uh, download it again, okay? So I downloaded the 
exe which is actually supposed to be for windows machines and uh, i downloaded the first one the rpm file the second one i downloaded exe one which is the update 91 now i am going to uh, yes now you see that i have downloaded the 891 file just delete this rm we don't need exe file okay even if you can uh, rm to just not to be confused uh, delete uh, this one as well so we have only one left okay now we have the tar.gg uh, gz file and uh, uh, we can update the tar minus zx vf i can jdk okay uh, this is uh, you you can use the command to get the data inside the zip file inside the okay tar package if you see that i untarred it and i i got this file so uh, jdk one right this is the file i i got it okay this is the way i can uh inst i then now uh i can do that okay uh, i can install it and what i did uh, so that now uh, my java home will be this folder what i can do is i can set the java home in my dot pass rc file okay that is uh, go to your home directory cd and ls minus l you can see this is a uh, dot pass rc file right okay uh, update that dot so bass bass dot bass rc here i can do that export java home equal to my home directory and you can see what is that uh, just to check it what i can do is i can again uh, run another i can use okay the jdk right jdk1 okay just copy it okay the home directory okay this is my java home now i have to change the path also export path equal to the value of path i want to keep the existing path as well this is the way we have to set the path otherwise we'll lose the previous uh, path okay and the value of java home okay the value of java home okay slash bin okay so this is the path i am going to set just now actually we can exit once to so that the new uh, path and java home is going to be uh, selected now if you see that uh, what is my export uh, if i echo java home it is set to this and java command not found so that means uh, we have co the path oh 
okay here it is taking this is the path we did some mistake uh, pi dot bus rc java home is okay here it is not easy to user okay it is just home directory jdk1 okay that's all and again maybe we have to re-log in so that things will take place now java yes now java is set and java is installed path is set now only one thing remaining is we have to download the kafka okay just same wget and it is downloading so now we are downloading the kafka uh, binaries okay here it is and then same thing tar zxvf kafka and we are done see now we have jdk inst uh, downloaded inst and uh, set the path we have kafka also uh, kafka right so here we have the bin also and we can go forward and set uh, the config next in my next video i'm going to show how to uh, run kafka and uh, the zookeeper uh, service zookeeper as well as the kafka broker server uh, that's all in this video thank you for watching